today we're just outside Mount Hotham. We're going to do the Razorback track to Feather Top. Now we are here, we're going to track all along Razorback, all the way up to Mount Feather Top, which is 19, 22 metres, and then all the way back, it is 22 kilometres return, and I reckon it takes seven to eight hours. So uh, let's go. So it looks like the uh, the weather's on our side. It's a beautiful sunny day. It's about eight degrees at the moment in AM. Uh, it'll get up to 16 degrees C. for about an hour and uh, we've done two and a half k's of the uh, 22 k that we've got to do. Um, you can see the track varies quite a bit. There's a lot of uh, bits where it's really rocky and steep and come some bits which are really, really nice and smooth and warm. The music fantastic. And uh, we've only got, uh, what, another 19 and a half k's to go. All right, let's go for that. Jackets and uh, zip top, without t shirts. Now I've got a hat on, kept that sun off the face. But uh, yeah, now it's quite warm. So we're almost at the, uh, the 7k mark. And I can understand why they call this a great through track because uh, this is uh, taking a bit of seven bit of energy. And the hardest part apparently is the last, uh, last k or so up to the top of Feather Top. This is not even the hard bit yet.
Focus our eyes on the journey Stepping into the unknown Waving goodbye to our worry And we're ready to go We run! We're going for about three hours now And we've done about 8k So our uh, average has dropped a little bit This part of the track is a lot more rugged and uh, quite steep so that's it up there to the top three more kilometers This last bit's the hardest, and uh, I can understand why. Whoa, it's really tough. It's uphill, it's broken ground, and uh, I'm still probably got about 500 meters to go. struggling this last bit it is the hardest climb I've ever done but we're almost there but it doesn't feel like it's getting any closer cool. back down uh, including our lunch break it's about five hours about four and a half hours to get up that last bit just really uh, chewed away the time to get through it's quite steep uh, it should be a little bit quicker to get down and uh, it's probably about three o'clock in, in the afternoon now so if it takes us four hours we should get back to the car by about 7 p.m. Um, start to get some of that night air coming
we're still making our way down. And I tell you what, my legs are killing me. Whoa. But the views are amazing. Look at that. <laughs> back at the car park we have just got to go along this little ridge back up to the road there where the cars are parked Park it took us nine hours from start to finish from the Timatina hut to the top of Feather Top and all the way back 22 kilometers. It is a really tough track and it is grade three. The views are fantastic right along the whole Razorback, right up to the top of Feather Top and all the way back. We started off early morning and now we're getting the sunset views absolutely fantastic. Don't underestimate the track, you will need plenty of water. You will need warm clothes because it will get cold as you go along, even if it is a warm day. But highly recommend it, and we'll see you on our next adventure.